Good Thursday. Today we're going back in time, man. Thing Maker. Remember these? From the 60s. When toys were dangerous. I don't remember my mom or dad supervising us kids using these hot plates. Oh, hey. Hey, Gumby. Hey, Pokey. Hey, Zeta. Hey, Zeta. You here to watch the show? Yeah. Yeah. Geez, about 15 years ago, my brother gave me this. He knew that I wanted a thing maker. I've never used it. In fact, when I got this, it did not have rust. It's just been sitting on the shelf for 15 years. And at the time, I bought some patty goop. It's dated 2008. I'm not even sure it's good. One of my favorites was the skeleton using plasti goop, glow in the dark. Man, I have memories of the skeleton glowing in the dark. That's what we're gonna try and do today. I never got the holder. This is a bicycle spoke I bent just for today. It holds the spring. So we just put it in here like that. Oh. And there you go. I don't have the bath, the water bath. That's right, you need to take a bath. Pokey. What we need to do, we need to test it. This has not been plugged in in 15 years. I did test it when it first arrived 15 years ago. Gosh, 15 years, where does the time go? Let's test it out. And in you go. Uh-oh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Gumby, pokey! I think you fucked it up, Zeta. You fucked it up! <sighs> well... <laughs> oh, no! Oh! Man! Man! Oh, what am I gonna do? This doesn't look like it's easy to open. Hang on. I'm gonna go check YouTube. Well, there is a video on YouTube for fixing these. He takes it apart by bending the metal and he finds a break in the heating element. Wow, I'm really bummed. Oh, this is dated 1964. Now you can't see, can you see? 1964. Are you choking me, Zeta? Are you choking me? How did, how did that happen, Pokey? Sorry. Maybe I should have tested it sooner. 15 years. It worked 15 years ago. All right. New plan. What do you think, Gumby? What do you think, Pokey? Should we um, quit? Should we quit? You're not a quitter, Zeta. You're a quitter. I'm not a quitter. Here's what we're gonna do. Oh, I know. Ha <laughs> ha! Our aluminum disc. I bought these for the Vision cookware to create even heating. It's a quarter inch thick aluminum. You may know about these. It just sits on my burner. I think what we're gonna do is cook it on the stove. Why not? I checked the interweb, and according to Patty Goop, we need a temperature of 325 to 350 to cook our Patty Goop. Again, this is 15-year-old Patty Goop. We've got to stir it. It says stir well. So it may not even set, but we have to try. You can do it, Zeta. Loser. Hey, be nice. This is dead to me. We'll do a separate video where we fix it. Not today. We had a piece of cardboard. We're gonna stir the patty goop. And uh, we'll be back. Okay, I'm sending you guys away. I'll see you later, Gummy and Pokey. Ooh. One of the things about patty goop that I remember from 2008 was 
He said it smelled like the real plastic goop. Because again, it's one of those old toys that had a smell. I don't smell anything. I've got a screwdriver. I don't, I, I guess you're not supposed to shake it. Maybe you'll get bubbles. Oh my gosh, it's, it's very thick. We may have the same problem we had with the super stuff. It's just too old. I, I have no idea. It's not open. There you go. I'm just gonna go to, uh, I'm gonna go to five. 138. Got a ways to go. Oh, it's, all right. Oh my. Man. Man. Well, I haven't done this since the 60s. I'll be happy if we end up with something I can pull out of the mold. I think that's as good as we're getting. Two seventy four, we're getting there. Ooh. Do you remember do you remember the skeleton? It sets, man. It's not 300 on the sides. Oh, it cooled down when I put it on there. It looks like it's, oh, it's bubbling. Oh, man, I'm lowering the heat. It's bubbling. It's expanding. It is burning. Oh man, it is burning. Oh, we got a burnt skeleton. We have a burnt skeleton in the house. Oh, oh, the, I'm turning on the fan. Oh, what a bummer. What a bummer. Let me just see what temperature we're at. We're not even, we're like 238. Okay. Oh. Fail. Oh. All right, I'm done. We're done. Right now, it does smell like plastic goop. So I'm going to have to fix the thing maker by some modern day patty goop. I thought I could cook it on the stove. <laughs> Look at that. It's what happens when you're chasing your childhood. Oh! Oh! <laughs> uh, ooh! Oh! <laughs> wow, talk about turning black. 
Oh, the ball. The ball is deformed. You know what? That's spooky. That is spooky. All right. <laughs> Thanks for joining me this Thursday. You know what I'm going to say. What are we going to say, Gumby and Pokey? Yeah, f*** that. F*** that. Thanks for watching. Round two. For why not? Low and slow. Thing maker low and slow. You think it'll burn on low? It smells like plastic goop right now. I can smell it. It's 15 years old and there are a lot of bubbles. But it's not burning. And it does seem to be setting somehow. It is setting. Never give up, never surrender. Ah! That does really look creepy. Ah! Boy, I wish it would cook in here. It is solid there. It feels solid. Let's end this now, okay? Oh. <gasps> <gasps> Ooh, I've got a leg. I've got an arm! I thought the chain was... I thought the chain was starting to burn, that's why I took it out. But it wasn't. I don't remember them looking white. I remember them looking kind of green. Even though we had bubbles, it looks really good from the front. The skeleton out. He's, he's not done. And that's okay. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You know, not a total fail. The question is, does he glow in the dark? I don't remember him looking white like this, though. We have to see if he glows in the dark, that's all. And then we are really done, because I am tired. I don't want to fall. Let's put the flashlight on him. I think he's al he's already glowing. You ready? This is exciting. We actually did something. Here we go. <gasps> oh, my. oh, look. Hey. Oh, I got to fix that thing maker. We'll get some modern day goop, huh? Oh, he doesn't hold the glow very long. Oh, come on. Hey, thanks for joining me this Thursday night. You know what I'm going to say, what I'm going to say. Thanks for watching.